what you think it means, really. Well, this is the first response to the Hamas's military chief's call early this morning for armed groups in Lebanon to join the fighting with Israel. Lebanon's Hezbollah is an ally of Hamas. In that statement, it expressed support to the Palestinian people, as well as the Palestinian armed groups at war with Israel. It also said that it is in direct contact with the Hamas leadership and that there is cooperation. Now, these, like I said, these two groups are allies, so it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a surprise that there is ongoing cooperation. But at the same time, Hezbollah stopped short of saying whether or not it's going to join the fight. What it did say is it's assessing the situation. It also, um, you know, there was an implied threat, if you like, to the Israeli government, telling the Israeli government, understand what has happened, understand the implications of what happened today. So strong words, but stopping short of whether or not Hezbollah will join the fight. It's not an easy decision for Hezbollah to open a new front from Lebanon's southern border with Israel. Because, yes, Hezbollah's arsenal has grown since the last war in 2006. Hezbollah has more, more weapons, more advanced weapons, uh, precision-guided missiles that can hit the heart of Israeli cities. And Hezbollah has even, has even warned and threatened that its troops will take the war to Israel and the battleground will no longer be just southern Lebanon. But Israel can also hurt this country. Israel can also destroy Lebanon. And there are groups in Lebanon, political parties, who do not support Hezbollah and who do not support Hezbollah's actions and who believes that this is not Lebanon's war.